Hello Cancer, welcome to your June Tower reading. I hope that May has been productive and peaceful for you. I'm going to get straight into your reading, but before I do, I'm going to mention that I have changed the way the videos appear. I've speeded up the parts where I am shuffling. Uh, you may have noticed in the May reading. If you haven't seen the May reading yet, I'd be really grateful if you go and have a, a peep at that and let me know if that resonated for the month of May. Let's get straight into June for you. And I'm going to start shuffling. Okay, Cancer, your cards for June. Um, we have, and we're starting with the Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups is a watery energy like yourself, um, but he's very much in um, kind of a, a state of ungroundedness, if you like. There's a, a, there's a lot of emotion, there's a lot of um, kind of expression that he's doing here, but it's seems to be that there is um, maybe a lack of maturity or lack of groundedness, a lack of experience. And so what we're seeing here is kind of the start of an energy I'm feeling. I'm feeling that this is uh, about your growth. I'm feeling that this is about um, where you're coming from, Cancer. So what I'm feeling is that there's in the past perhaps you've been able to express yourself, but perhaps in a way that um, that required a little bit more wisdom and, and experience because in the corner of this card we have this little kind of flying pig here which indicates that perhaps um, what was being expressed wasn't based in um, I don't want to say it wasn't based in reality uh, but maybe practicality shall we say because it certainly we have the you know the clutter here um, it certainly was felt it certainly was um, kind of, it had integrity, but it didn't have uh, enough solidity, it didn't have enough foundation. The foundation wasn't strong. Uh, you weren't able to put your um, your roots down, if you like, and um, this is the energy and the growth we're coming from. And I say growth because the next to that I have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is about uh, a glimpse into uh, your whole being, your um, your life plan, your blueprint for this lifetime. It's an intuitive insight into who you are and where you're coming from and what you're doing here, if you like. And so seeing the High Priestess and this intuitive energy next to the Page of Cups, this is um, very much in terms of your emotional and spiritual growth. And so it tells me that there has been growth here and there has been a, a pathway here uh, to lead you through um, these aspects of self into um, a stronger way of being, a more uh, secure way of being, if you like. And I can say that because I have the three of wands coming in next. Now the three is interesting because it's still about growth, it's still about opportunity and perspective, but it's missing its fourth wand so according to kind of the laws of physics we need the fourth corner in order to um to have stability if you like and that's not yet coming in or it hasn't yet you know been there and so what we're doing is growing um or um we're growing within and we're passing the time uh, allowing the wisdom to come through us while we await that fourth one that stability in order to create and manifest and grow this journey cancer is quite interesting because i have here the king of pentacles now the king of pentacles is kind of a, a master manifester he is able to intuitively uh, create and um you know put down foundation if you like and so we've got this very earthy energy here as opposed to this kind of watery nebulous energy here and so it tells me that your journey has definitely been one of creating solidity and creating um, a reality that is going to serve you in the long term the ace of wands comes in here uh, and so this, because this is a reading for June, this is telling me the, the kind of a, a backstory, if you like. And then we have 
what we, you know what we're going to have coming through in June is this Ace of Wands. Now you may well have been presented with this opportunity, this seed for growth, and it may well have something to do with um, the network of people around you. It may well have something to do with um, the wisdom that you've accrued along the way. Uh, for me. Um, spiders they create their webs um, with a, a great deal of wisdom understanding their architects if you like and so you have been the architect of this network that is now going to produce or um, support this seed for growth for you the queen of swords comes in with absolute clarity there is no more the uh, reliant on the the uh, the heart energy, the the kind of soft, um, vulnerable um, love energy, as was the Page of Cups. But also there is, or more so rather, there is a reliance on the truth, the facts, uh, logic um, and absolute clarity. And so you see the growth I'm seeing here from this um, expressive energy to this matter of fact kind of almost cold energy we have with the queen of swords she brings in great clarity for you and understanding then we have the seven of wands now the seven of wands to me indicates opportunities not fully seen um it sometimes can represent the uh kind of the battles or the the uh, obstacles that we have as well but in this card it shows that we are protected this lady sits within this sphere this bubble of protection and you notice her solar plexus is highlighted here indicating that she is in a state of balance and uh, she, she feels kind of I don't want to say safe, but um, she she's flowing with the energy because she knows eventually that one of the ones or some of the ones will reveal themselves. She understands that this is a process and that even though there might be many opportunities or, or many pitfalls, if you want to see it that way, that the right one will, will uh, reveal itself if she is centered. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is brilliant seeing it on the other side of the Ace of Wands because it reiterates the fact that there is definitely new opportunity coming in here. The clarity you've, um, you've gained through the whole process of learning of self has produced opportunity for you to create something new in terms of your foundation, your resources, your abundance. This is a brand new start. Some new offer is definitely coming in here with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Wands and this clarity and wisdom and insight or foresight of the Queen of Swords. We've definitely got this, um, this new start, this opportunity um, to create something moving forward. I'm going to pull you some clarity cards now and I'm trying to get some depth for you. Wow, Cancer. Okay, these cards are very interesting and potent and lovely. So we start off with the Seven of Swords over the Page of Cups. Now, traditionally, the Seven of Swords is called the Trickster card. It talks about deception. Um, it talks about perhaps um, somebody around you who is being deceitful um, or telling lies and that gets revealed. Or it also speaks about the potential for putting self under illusion. And I, I find that often it can be a combination of two. Um, but in this case, I really feel that the illusion is something that we all kind of begin under. We all begin uh, with naivety, if you like, um, or not seeing the full picture. So this card to me represents um, the kind of, I don't want to use this word constantly, but it's the only one I can think of right now, is kind of this um, naivety, this immaturity of the page of cups and how we love. And so this um, tells me that you've kind of gotten away with uh, the information, the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding here with regards to this, um, this energy, this attitude, this way of being. The world card over the high priestess. Wow, what an energy. I mean, talk about moving you through uh, veils and portals. You have all of the aspects and attributes here to shift you through into the next level of your life. And the high priestess is giving you um, this opportunity to see um, through the veil, if you like, to understand where you're heading, to help you see that your journey is taking you to somewhere that you want to be, actually. 
the page of swords over the three of wands clarity page of swords is information messages um, news coming in and with the the three of wands waiting for your ship to come in waiting for the growth to happen waiting for the stability for you to move forward something's definitely coming in here in terms of opportunity um, or at least information to um, to help you move forward the empress the creative empress over the um, kind of foundation maker of the king of pentacles this is an interesting energy. We have this Venusian um, energy here, uh, Libra Taurus. Um, we have the, the Venus symbol here and the abundance here and the, the muse energy, the, um, the connection to the universe, the expression of the universe coming through the Empress and getting grounded with the King of Pentacles intuitively. So something's telling me that you are being informed by, by spirit, by the divine, and it's helping you to create something beautiful here for yourself and for others. The Two of Cups over the Ace of Wands. Wow, what a beautiful energy. This brand new steed, an opportunity in your network um, that you've created. And then you have this balance, this reparation, this personal alchemy, this rebirth, this healing. You see the caduceus here represents the, uh, a regeneration and so does the phoenix above. And you have the nurturing cups. And some people see this as a, a card with regards to love and relationship. And it, it could well be. It represents your, our soulmates and, and some people call them twin flames. Um, and so we, what we have here is a balance. We have a healing. We have an inner alchemy. And it can be in relationship but it can also be with regards to self and your two aspects of masculine and feminine. Um, I'm really seeing a, a lovely new start here and I do feel as though there are others involved in this alchemy for you, this new start. So the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, I mean, is there any uh, higher truth and clarity than these two figures here? you really are getting a, a massive insight and i believe that to me this is not just about mental processes and energy this is wisdom uh, this is insight this is uh, being intuitively guided and also uh, looking at the logic and facts and the practicality this is um, like a blast of light into your energy here for june and we also have a blast of energy. We have the seven of wands, as I say, indicating opportunities that are not fully um, exposed or seen yet. Uh, we have higher ground here in protection. And then we have the eight of wands, the universe, moving you forward from that three of wands uh, initial growth into your, uh, your full power moving forward, the full uh, momentum, if you like. The page of cups over the ace of pentacles. How nourishing is that we have this beautiful fish in the cup here indicating that the communications coming in the opportunities and the messages coming in will be very much uh, on a nurturing basis for you and we have this kind of financial or resources or foundation um, seed for growth that will really propel you forward as with the eight of wands it's really looking good cancer for june in terms of um, a shift in gear now, let me pull you two advice cards. Okay, uh, Cancer. So I had a few cards drop out there, but um, a couple of them uh, had the same kind of energy. So I'm going to stick with the one that stood out for me, which was this one, which is um, schizophrenia. Now, it doesn't talk about the, the mental imbalance, although it, it kind of does. It speaks about being in two minds. It speaks about um, wanting the future, but not wanting to let go of the past quite literally. Um, being in two minds makes us split. Being in um, one energy and also trying to put a foot in the other kind of doesn't work. It keeps us split and it keeps the energy um, blocked as well. So what this card speaks about is uh, deciding to let go of one side or the other either remain where you are and be satisfied with that or uh, let the past go and be willing to see what the future brings and how it manifests um, for you in terms of your um, your happiness and your joy. Sometimes we hold on to the past or we hold on to an idea because we're afraid of what might lie ahead or we're afraid that we won't get the satisfaction ahead that we had um, even in part um, 
currently or, or in the past. So we hold on uh, and yet we still want to step forward, but that's kind of not possible. Sometimes you have to uh, allow things to pass knowing that that was just for a season and perhaps what, what might be coming will build upon that joy, will build upon that nourishment and happiness. And then we have the Rebel card. Now, this energy is definitely uh, an energy that I'm feeling through this reading because it feels as though um, you're kind of working against all the things that um, were kind of placed upon you, if you like. The, the cloak that you had to wear, the being that you felt you needed to be for others, um, and the kind of attitudes and life that you may have lived in order to fit in, in order to be responsible uh, and in order to make others happy. The rebel really bursts through and breaks his chains and he wears this uh, kind of multifaceted clothing to indicate that he is forever growing and changing and shedding his skin if you like and the fire of his wand and the fire emblem on his shoulder indicate his passion for living his life in truth and integrity and he is also informed by the eagle here which indicates that he has an overview an instinct about where his life should be going and what should be being expressed through his lifetime and so this energy of the rebel is um, what you're becoming cancer is the person that you are supposed to be the the unique individual that you will always were within and so we have an opportunity to let go and become here i'm going to draw you one outcome card for june <laughs> Okay, so Cancer, I have two cards come out here for you uh, and to me they are um, both of the same energy. We have the World card and the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups moves us on from that which we have had and perhaps are not fully satisfied with. We know there's a missing cup or two uh, and we're, we have the full backing of the universe to go off in search of that nourishment and that sustenance. And so off you go, and there is the portal, the world energy, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the world portal to shift you forward into a new existence, a new way of life. This is looking really good for June Cancer. I really hope that that meant something to you and is helpful. Please do let me know in the comments. I'd really love to see uh, how that resonated with you, and I'll see you next time.